What's up, everybody? Brandon here for GeekSwit.com. We're playing some Trials Evolution today, looking for the Squirrels Have Eyes achievement. we got to find 20 hidden squirrels throughout the game. Now, if you're looking for a specific squirrel, go ahead and check the description below for links to each individual stage. Otherwise, we got a lot to do. we got a lot of squirrels to find. So let's go ahead and get started. So squirrel number one, the first squirrel you're able to get in the game is on the first track of the game. This is the D license test, it's the track you have to play in order to unlock the rest of the events. And this one's really easy, you just go through the track, you hit your checkpoints and you go through your little learning tutorials. Afterwards, once you get to the end, you just hang out for a second and all this stuff starts dropping on you. Eventually those squirrels are going to drop too and you'll unlock the first one. Squirrel number two is hidden on the track Sunset Strip in the event Fuel for Flames. What you do is at the very start, back up until you see that firework go off in the freight as it just did. Then, continue going through the track as normal. Essentially what happens is, since that firework went off, it's going to change the track later on down the road. Now once you see those two fireworks go off, you know you're in the right place. So just head up the ramp, open the gate, and hop down in to find your second squirrel. Now you're going to find squirrel number three on the track Strike in the event Fuel for Flames. This one's actually a tad tricky because it's easy to pass if you're going too fast. And what you're going to do is just go through the level like normal, but once you hit the fourth checkpoint, this one here, just slow down for a second. Ease on over this ramp, and what you're going to try to do is get down between these two buildings without landing on your head. Once you make it safely down, just head inside, hit a backflip off this ramp, and then bunny hop up to the next level where you'll find your third squirrel. Now, School 4 is actually a pretty easy one. It's on the track Cliff Jumper in the event Fuel for Flames. Right at the very start, hop on over that gap, hit this rock ramp, and then try to land with your wheels down. Put in reverse, back up through this cloud, and as soon as a rock falls on you, you'll find your squirrel. Now, school number five is another easy one. It's on the track Rock Steady in the next event, Terminal Velocity. All you have to do is get through the track on this, but since it's at the very end, we're going to go ahead and speed it up. So there you go. Once you finish the track, you land in your big flaming pile of barrels and just hang out waiting for the explosion. Now once that's done, wait just a bit longer, and you'll see a bigger explosion, and then just wait a second longer than that, and the camera pulls out to reveal your next squirrel. Squirrel number six is on the track Sewage Plant in Terminal Velocity. Now this is the first one where they start to get kind of tricky. This one specifically because you have to bail out at the right time and catch a lot of air. Go through the track like normal until you get to the sixth checkpoint. You'll know you're there because you have crossed these three water jets before you get there. Now once you're here, back up and try to catch this ramp with as much speed as possible. Coming off the ramp, lean forward and bail out at just the right time to send your rider flying onto the balcony where you'll find your sixth squirrel. So squirrel number seven is on the track Suspense in Terminal Velocity. And this one's not too bad, but it takes a little bit of patience because there's some timing specific events you have to wait for. Now go through the track like normal. Make sure you don't have too much speed when you get to this ramp, because if you do, you're going to be launched into oblivion.
Now once you get to this section, make sure to slow it down a little bit so you can stop on the swinging platform. This platform's going to swing three times. First time up, second time back, and you got to make sure you stay on because the momentum will try to pull you off. Now on the third swing, as it goes up, when it's almost reached its peak, drive up, launch off the ramp, and land, and you'll find your seventh squirrel. Squirrel number eight's on the track Titan Graveyard in Terminal Velocity. Now this stage is fun because there's a lot of big ramps and a lot of big air, but the squirrel's kind of easy to miss because you can go sailing straight over it. Still, once you know where it is, it's simple to get to. Now just go through the track like normal until you get to the castle with the suspended cage. Now once you pass through that cage, make sure you take it easy on the gas. Notice I'm not putting any throttle in the bike because what I want to do is fall off the end of this broken bridge and hit that checkpoint down there. Once you hit this checkpoint, you're home free because you can restart as many times as you want. Just put the bike in reverse and roll back until you get to the edge of this little platform. Make sure you land on both tires, keep it in reverse, and back up until you find your squirrel. Squirrel number 9 is on the track Meltdown in Terminal Velocity. Now it starts with this massive explosion, but what you need to make sure you do is put it in reverse, back up until you get to that pipe with flame coming out of it, and set your rider on fire. Now this gets a bit tricky because when your rider's on fire, if they're standing still for too long, they'll explode. So you gotta make sure you keep moving. The second part of this is just to make sure you make it to the end of the track without crashing. Once you crash, your rider respawns, but the fire's gone, so you miss your chance of getting the squirrel. So just take it easy, keep moving, don't stand still for too long, and make it to the finish line. You'll find your squirrel waiting for you. Squirrel number 10 is on the track Archipelago in the event Collateral Damage. Now this one doesn't have a static squirrel location, but you have to perform five backflips without crashing and the squirrel will appear on the back of your bike. And this track's got a lot of ramps and a lot of places to do backflips, so just take it easy and if you know you're going to make it, give it a shot. Now once you hit your fifth and final backflip, the squirrel will appear on the back of your bike. Squirrel number 11 is on this awesome track Mindbender and Collateral Damage. Now the gravity is distorted and the level is shifting so it makes it a little disorienting. But the squirrel is not till the halfway mark so we're going to speed it up. Now once you get to this checkpoint before the big cube of water, you're going to want to make sure you go in and as you're coming out the other side, aim up and to the right and bail out. It might take a few times, but if you do it right, your rider will be launched into the air, gravity will grab him and pull him into the squirrel. Now squirrel number 12 is on the track Harbor Havoc in collateral damage. This is actually one of the easiest squirrels to find. So just head up these beams and make your way to the center of the track. Now once you cross that third checkpoint, right before this fourth checkpoint, you'll see a ramp leading back down into a crate. Just go ahead and head in, and you'll find the squirrels in the shipping container. The squirrel number 13 is on the track power plant in the event collateral damage. This is another easy one to get to, but finding it's the difficult part. What you want to do is just make sure you go through the level like normal, hit all the ramps that you need to until you get to the elevator. Once you're on the elevator, just stop. Now this elevator is going to take you up really fast, so just wait for yourself to come back down, 
put it on the brakes, and then kick it in reverse. The most difficult part of this whole thing is just making sure you don't crash right here where the ramp falls and you meet the barrels. But if you make it over those, just keep going backwards, right off the edge, and you'll find your squirrel. Now, Squirrel 14's on the track Swamp Fever in Collateral Damage. And this one's not too bad, but it's another one of those we gotta bail out at just the right time and land on the platform. So it can be a bit tricky. What you're gonna wanna do is just go through the level like normal until you get to the sixth checkpoint. Right after this sixth checkpoint is a big mud ramp. You hit this with full throttle, lean forward, and bail out. Direct your rider to the right and land on this platform to find your score. Squirrel number 15 is on the track Physics Factory in the Cutting Edge event. What you're going to want to do is take this catwalk at full speed and then lay off the gas at the last second. The idea being to land on this platform right before the ramp. Once you're here, ease over the ramp and try to land on the bouncing platform with both wheels down. From here you can bounce backwards or just bounce straight up in town until you come to a full stop. Then put it in reverse, head down the ramp, head backwards, and you'll find your squirrel. Squirrel number 16 is on the track Around the Ranch in the Cutting Edge event. Now this one's not too bad, but the squirrel's not till the very end, and this is kind of a long track. So just hang tight and we're going to speed this up for a second. So once you make it to this checkpoint at the top of the building, you're going to want to make your way down to the ground, however you want. Just make sure you don't actually cross this ramp down here and end up in those boxes. Once both wheels are on the ground, put it in reverse, and you'll see your squirrel blowing up the outhouse. Squirrel 17 is on the track Red Lynx Moto Jam in the Cutting Edge event. It's actually one of the easiest ones to get. All you gotta do is put your front tire on the top of that log until the firework goes off. Once you've done that, you know you got it. Put it in reverse, back up over these two big tires, and you'll find your squirrel sitting in the bleachers. Squirrel number 18 is on the track Lab Rat in the Cutting Edge event. You gotta put in a secret code at a certain spot in the middle of the track in order to unlock this squirrel. Now the rub is that the code is hidden in an Easter egg at the end of the track. So what we're gonna do is speed it up to get there. Now once you get to the end of the track, you're going to see the finish line, but you don't want to cross it. What you're going to want to do is jump down and hit this big pool of water. Using the left analog stick, you direct your rider down and to the right underneath this barricade. It's going to take a little bit of time, but once you get all the way to the right, push up and he'll surface, and you'll find your code. Now the code reads left to right, top to bottom, so it's going to be up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. A -X -A -X. Now with this code in mind, you're going to want to go ahead and restart the track and just continue this normal through until you get to the center of the stage. Once you make it to this big pool area, stop and using the D-pad, input the code. You'll hear a laser sound for every input. Now if you input the code correctly, you're going to get flushed down this green pipe, where you're going to see a sweet little 8-bit picture. Hang out on the screen and you'll find your squirrel. Squirrel number 19 is on the track under construction in the Death Valley of it. Now this track is, is not what you would call easy, and it 
takes a little bit of skill to navigate correctly. The scroll's not till the middle, so I'm gonna speed it up. So the idea is to get your front tire to touch this platform. Easiest way to do that is just to get up there and hit the checkpoints you can restart if you need to. What you're going to want to do is put it in reverse and slowly back down the way you came up until you get to the very bottom and this area here. Now back up into it and if you did it correctly the squirrel will appear. If you did it incorrectly and didn't touch the tire on the platform there'll be a nice big package of C4 waiting for you. Squirrel number 20, the final squirrel, is hidden on the track Bridge of Trials in the Death Valley event. Now of all the tracks with hidden squirrels, this one's the most difficult to navigate. With a lot of obstacles in your way. The squirrel's not until the end, so I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. Now once you get to this checkpoint, you're going to want to head over this first obstacle and hit that second ramp with as much speed and force as possible. You want to lean forward and bail out at just the right time in order to grab the handle above your head. In order to grab the handle, you're going to want to hold Y, so after you bail out, continue to press Y. After a couple tries, you should be able to make it. Hold onto the handle and ride it all the way down to find the 20th and final squirrel, and the squirrels have eyes achievement. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found the guide helpful, please leave us a like and a comment so that hopefully others can find the video as well. For more gaming related goodness, be sure to check out our other videos or our website at geeksweat.com. Thanks for watching.